get our acceleration here with the F350. Hey everyone, it's Ben Hardy here, and in today's video, we're gonna be going over a 2021 Ford F350 Lariat, but first and foremost, a huge shout out and thank you to the Larry H. Miller Ford here in Provo for providing us with the truck. Check out their inventory in the link below. Let's get straight into the video. Under the hood of this particular F350 Lariat, we have the 6.7 liter Power Stroke diesel that goes through a 10 speed automatic transmission. Power outputs are still 475 horsepower and then 1,050 pound feet of torque. Let's go over the front end of this particular F350 Lariat. So you can see you've got the signature Ford Super Duty hood where you've got like the bulge there in the center and then on the sides you've got like the divots on either side which is pretty unique. And then coming down we do have halogen lights. You can get LED lights as an option. Fog lights just down below and then full chrome grill since this is the Lariat. You've got the blacked out tow hooks and then you can see the air dam here at the bottom which actually helps with fuel economy especially on the interstate. But overall the front end still aggressive still crazy sorry about my shadow right there but uh looks good now let's go over the tire and wheel setup here with the f350 so you got 20 inch wheels with 275 millimeter tires in the front and over in the rear and I actually really like the design on the wheels here on the larry it's just really cool it's like a honeycomb design there for the center and then here's a quick look at the front suspension of the truck you can see just how beefed up that is and then you've got your lariat f350 badge you've got your 6.7 liter power stroke badge and this one does have running boards there on the side as well and then the other really cool thing is this truck obviously from the factory doesn't have a leveling kit or anything like that but it's actually pretty level from the factory from the front to the rear and it looks really good Over the whole setup here with the bed of the F350. So you can see this one does have the little bed step, so it's super easy to use. You just step up, and then if you do need the grab handle, you've got the grab handle as well. Makes access to the bed a whole lot easier. And then we've got the LED lights here in this bed as well. And you guys can see the little cargo light there at the top. Now this one doesn't have a bed liner from the factory. You can get it as an option, but it's actually pretty expensive. And so it's usually better to get the bed liner after the fact rather than getting it from the factory. But that is everything here for the bed. So the whole setup actually wasn't too difficult to do all with one hand, but coming here to the rest of the rear, again, you can get LED lights as an upgrade. And that's how you know if it has blind spot monitoring is it has the little marker there on the side of the light. And then coming to the receiver hitch, payload on this truck is about 3,500 pounds. Towing capacity is about 20,000 pounds. And then you've got parking sensors here on the rear as well, but overall pretty normal super duty back end. Here's the door panel on the back of the Lariat. So you can see you've got this really cool wood trim there on the side. And then coming to the seats, the Lariat comes with the full leather seats, which they're actually really soft to the touch, really comfortable to sit in. I currently own a Raptor with the Recaros, and like sitting in these seats compared to my Recaros, these are just so much more comfortable just like with how soft they are. But let's actually pop in. So stepping in, the running boards help out a lot, by the way. Step in height is not bad at all with the running boards. I'm 5'11", there's my headroom. Legroom is solid as well. And then you can see you've got a little bit of storage space right there. A couple cup holders here at the top. And then you can see you can charge a bunch of devices down in this little area. And then we've got a little cup holder armrest here in the back. But overall, the back seat here is massive and it's comfortable. And taking a look at the door panel here at the front, they made this padding here really nice. We're gonna rest your arm. You've got this nice wood trim. All of the window controls right here. You've got the mirror controls. And then you do have the mirror extender, which you can see extends the uh, mirrors out so like if you want to impress the girls or if you want to be able to see behind your trailer you have a button for both of those actions pretty neat and then you can see you've got the memory seats just down below and then coming to the seats at the front same as the seats in the back but i feel like they're just a little bit softer maybe maybe just a little bit um, but yeah overall really really comfortable to sit in you can see the adjustments are on the side of the seat there is the pedal layout and then we've got our pedal adjustment right here this is drops down the tailgate light controls these are to turn on the lights on either side of the mirrors the steering wheel is automatically adjustable and there's one more look before we pop in
Now here is the steering wheel in the F350. So they actually have white stitching on the center to contrast all of the black that's on the outside of the steering wheel. You've got your normal volume controls here, voice command, phone controls as well. These are the controls for the center stack and then your cruise controls over on the other side. And then you can see just behind the steering wheel, you've got little stock for the turn signal and also the windshield wipers. And then it does have a column shifter, so functions just like any other column shifter. You can shift the gears yourself with those little buttons right there. And then it does have a drive mode select, which I'll show you guys in just a moment. But that is everything for the steering wheel. Now here in the center, you can see you've got analog gauges on either side, and then you do have the center screen, which, I mean, they really haven't changed this in a while, so you guys will probably be pretty used to this little center screen. I do like the little off-road status. I know not a lot of people take their F-350s off-road, but it's still cool to have that. And then also the towing status. I think that's another really cool thing. Obviously, we can't see anything because, well, we aren't towing. But the other thing you guys want to see was the drive mode. So press the little drive mode select. You can see you've got the normal, you've got the tow haul, you've got the eco, the slippery, and then the deep snow and sand. And obviously recommends you to go into four wheel drive for all of that. But you can see that the drive mode select pretty easy to use. And I mean, it's one of the only heavy duties with drive modes right now, which is pretty cool. Now here's our center infotainment system. Above the infotainment system, we've got the diesel exhaust brake, the stability control hazard lights, and then you have a camera button and that just pops up with the cargo camera. Pretty straightforward. But if we pop the truck into reverse, there's what the backup camera looks like. And then you do have a zoom function on the backup camera itself. Pretty straightforward with that. And then with the rest of the infotainment system, response time is good. This plastic covering does get in the way just a little bit. Um, but I have this in my Raptor. I absolutely love this infotainment system. It's really easy to use. And it's not like super massive and like in the way like some infotainment systems nowadays. Now down below, we can see over here, we've got our little charging area. It's got a power outlet and a 12 volt. And then we've got our analog radio controls dual zone climate here at the bottom and then you do get heated and ventilated seats here in the lariat and then we've got our drive line select so you got your two wheel high your four wheel high your four wheel low and then your locker there on the rear trailer brakes right next to it and then that wood trim they continue it here with this little covering and this is basically just some extra storage you got a couple of usbs and a wireless phone charger and then just press that back and it'll close right up couple cup holders this is just some extra storage and like the f-150s this is where the shifter is so they just kind of like turned it into storage here in the heavy duties center console pretty normal opening it up you guys can see it's massive another thing that i love that's the same as in my raptor because like this center console you can just you can put a lot in it like pretty much a full person almost and then coming over here you got little glove box says super duty there at the top and again storage space and this is really solid and i think the super duty print's cool and then notice that you've got soft touch and stitching there on that part of the dash up top here we do have the power rear sliding window which is uh pretty neat and then you can see you've got all the auxiliary switches which i mean yeah you're supposed to use them for like reasonable stuff like maybe you want to add some extra lights for some extra visibility and all that um but what i think would be really cool as an auxiliary item that isn't necessarily tied in the auxiliary switch is a train horn like every single new truck should come with a train horn and a sunglass holder. Now that we're done going with the interior on this F-350 Lariat, let's quickly get into pricing. So in terms of pricing, this F-350 Lariat stickers for about $73,000 before any type of market adjustment. That all being said, let's take her out and see how she drives. Well, let's talk about visibility before we set off here in the F-350. So you can see visibility over the hood, pretty decent. It kind of abruptly ends at the hood, but obviously it's a bigger size hood. So if you're not used to it, it might take a second. There's your visibility through the mirrors, which is great. They also come with blind spot monitoring. And then here's all throughout the rear. So in general, it's really easy to see out of the F-350. And that all being said, let's set off. We are initially setting off here in the F-350. And first and foremost, let's actually talk about the road noise and the ride quality. So you guys can probably hear there's quite a bit of noise coming from that 6.7 liter power stroke. But in terms of the tire noise, you can hear the tires quite a bit. It's not bad by any means, but average for a truck. The engine, definitely a little bit louder than most trucks, but I mean, it's good diesel sound, so no complaints here. Let's see what the brakes are like coming up to this roundabout. Yeah, brake stopping power is really good at this truck, which I mean, that's definitely something that you want with a heavy duty truck when you're going to be towing a huge trailer behind it. And we'll kind of see how it maneuvers through this roundabout. Yeah, pretty good. I mean, this is a big truck and it is pretty easy to drive around. Like 
I am not struggling whatsoever to maneuver this truck, so that's definitely a huge plus for me. And then what I'm gonna do is I'm actually going to pop it over into the eco mode and see if that feels any different. Yeah, I'm not really noticing any difference between the eco mode and the uh, normal mode. So we're just gonna keep it normal mode for the rest of the video, kind of see what the brakes are like again. Yeah, the brakes are really good. So, so far, ride quality is slightly above average for a heavy duty truck, a little bit smoother. Um, the noise is about average. And then in terms of the noise from the engine, again, that's about average for a diesel truck. Um, for a truck in general, I would put it um, a little bit louder than average. And that's everything so far. Well, let's get our acceleration here with the F-350. Ooh. It is spinning out on me a little bit. So um, going full throttle on this truck, would not uh, recommend doing that at 45 degrees um, outside with the uh, temperature. I'm at 4,500 feet elevation, it's 45 degrees outside and the tires were spinning. That's all I have to say. This has a massive amount of power. I mean, it's the most amount of horsepower and torque that you can get in a heavy duty truck from the factory right now. And let me tell you, you can feel it, it is crazy just like, yeah, that's so crazy to me. And obviously I have traction control on, so I'm not burning rubber or anything like that. So you guys that are like freaking out, don't worry, traction control's on. It was just, it was spinning a little bit and then it cut power, everything's all good. Um, but yeah, I, I don't think I need to say anything else on the power, it's, it's ridiculous. So let's actually get into summing things up with the F350. So if you're looking for a really powerful heavy duty truck, it's solid on that. Um, like I said, for most of the categories, it's average. Um, the noise is a little bit above average from the engine perspective, um, but that's pretty much every single diesel truck. Super capable, guys. You heard the payload, 3,500 pounds, towing capacity right around 20,000 pounds. Most of the trucks in the segment are right around that area. And so you're really solid on that from everything from a, um, just the perspective of capability. And so if you're looking for a really capable, really powerful truck, then I definitely check out the F-350. So that is gonna sum things up for our video on this 2021 Ford F-350 Lariat. Again, a huge shout out and thank you to the Larry Miller Ford here in Provo for providing us with the truck. Check out their inventory in the link below. I'll see all of you in that next video.